Well, here we are in the Holy of Holies. It's not quite sure whether we're allowed to do this, but we'll get away with it. In a small little enclave in the House of Lords, and with the man himself, with Lord Elster Morgan. Well, then, Lustin, Cairns announced the other day that we're going to change the name of the bridge to the Prince Charles Bridge, Prince of Wales Bridge. What do you reckon? I don't think that elevates Wales in any way at all. And uh, with every respect to um, Prince Charles, I don't think that he's a figure that counts for anything substantial at all in the life of Wales. But it's very ironic. In Shakespeare's Henry IV, part two, if I remember rightly, he described the three campaigns that were waged by the English king to try and put an end to Oenglindur. And Glindur, um, in, uh, in Shakespeare it says, For thrice hath Henry Bolingbroke made war against me, and three times from the banks of Wye and Sandy Bottom Severn have I sent him bootless home and weather beaten back. Well, and the place they crossed was that very bridge. Here we are. Yes. Good mm -hmm. gosh. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Um, the Severn. The Severn, yes. Right then. So, Kens asks the Secretary of State, for, asks the Welsh Assembly yeah. and the First Minister tells him what his plans are. This is what we're going to call the bridge. And according to the Secretary of State for Wales, the Welsh, Assembly, Welsh government, because the Assembly was never asked what they thought, the Welsh government had no objection. What do you reckon about that? That sort of attitude would have been perfectly understandable, perhaps a century ago, when people worshipped monarchy. We don't worship monarchy anymore. And I don't think it would elevate Wales to the slightest degree. And also before devolution. Absolutely. And also before we are asserting our nationhood again. Yes. In the strongest of terms. And yet the Welsh Assembly wasn't even asked, was their view. Why, why, do we, why is there a tendency now? Take it Brexit, take it uh, the bombing in Syria, take it anything. Parliament seemed to be sidelined, whether it's in Wales or in Westminster. Well, that, there is a tendency, isn't there? That certainly is true in a, an age of sophisticated communications. Yeah. When um, people can, somehow or another, gain the limelight over and above these ancient, traditional democratic yes. institutions. Yes. yes. But um, I don't think it counts for a great, very great deal at no. all. So finally, on the bridge, because we'll go on to other things as well. Finally, on the bridge, where do you think the idea came from? What put it in the mind Apparently, the Secretary of State said the Prime Minister agreed to it. Where did the notion come from and why? Where do these ideas of sucking up to monarchy come from? It represents something that is utterly inferior and pathetic in the human frame. That's... All it is. You I don't think it's linked with trying to keep the United... You know, there's no doubt that with the Brexit debate and everything else, the Union is under stress and strain. There's no doubt about that. Uh, and we know that and we've written about it. You don't think there is something of that, that this tends to mould Wales back? Whether the Union succeeds or not, whether it survives or not, will not turn upon anything as ephemeral as the connections of the Prince of Wales with Wales. And he will, and he would call the bridge, what, Mr. Morgan, along with Morgan? A anything but. Anything but what it what is. What has been suggested. By hunches, leave it as it is. There we go. Because it... Pont Havren. Pont Havren. Yes. It represents exactly what it is. Yes. Well, there we are. That's what Lester Morgan, Lord of 